Great music in the building, man. It's a hip hop nation thing right now. I know for some people it look a little different, but this is my home too. So I'm not gonna say any names, but this is my fucking house too. And it's only right that I got my brother in the building representing that BK Borough. Boo, boo, boo. Casanova. Oh, What's yeah. up, man? What's the deal? You, you didn't have to put your hand up like that. You see this fucking ring on his finger? What is that? Well, what that's is that? The knock your teeth out ring. That's definitely the knock your teeth out ring, but that's like <laughs> three dimensional. Yeah. What, what does that say? It say something? Two X. Two X. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to leave a stamp on a nigga. You definitely would. That shit would be like right in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. But what's going on, my brother? You out here doing major things. Happy hey, New Year to you. You already know, likewise. We uh, haven't had a chance to catch up in a minute. It's been a minute. You got bougie, man. You with the union now. I don't know if we even cool anymore. Nah, we definitely cool. Well, you know, the union, that's that's mainly Brooklyn. There's two parts Brooklyn, one part uptown. So like, I have to be cool with you. It's your family. <laughs> By, 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 it's mandate. I gotta be family that's with you. That's a fact. What's but, up? but that's what it is regardless, man. You have um this new song, and I gotta be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I got this song. Shout out to D the Weather, man. I got this song. Mm-hmm. Sweetness is in the building, too. Let's be clear about that. She wanna be behind the scenes. Fuck that. She's here. I'm gonna get lit just because she's here. <laughs> but I get the album. It's like everybody got the album at the same time. Bing, 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 mm-hmm. bing. Everybody listening to it. They on their phones. They're like, yo, you hear this shit? Mm-hmm. You hear this shit? And I'm talking about this 2 a.m. 2 a.m. album. Mm-hmm. It's song, I should oh, say. Yeah. But I know the album's all the way. We go get to that. I'm going to yeah. ask about that. But let's talk to me about that, man. How did this song come about? Um, I had to be, um, and I just heard, <clears throat> heard Tori on it, you know. I remember Tori was doing all the remixes for like the little Caribbean vibe beats. The song we used to the love, he he remixed it. So mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, you know what? I think Tori could really vibe out with one of these. So I kind of waited like two, three weeks. Finally, Tori came to the um the studio, and um he went in on it. I laid two verses down. So I was hyped already mm-hmm. with Tori on it. I was already hyped. I, so I went to the studio in Atlanta. 30 Rock, my producer, is like, hold on, this is missing one thing. I'm like, what? He like, it's an Afro beat. You need an African on it. Uh-huh. He like, yep. yo, you need an Afro, I mean, an African on it. So I was like, dang, who I'm going to call? Like, I ain't got no African friends. I was about to ask you, like, did you have that in your phone book? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I remember I just went to a concert. DeVito concert, he invited me Okay. two weeks prior. So I'm looking, let me see if I got his number. <laughs> FaceTime him, he picked up. He wanted to go to the studio that day, but in my head I was like, what, what song we gonna do? Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm The a, day that you met him. Yeah, I'm like, okay. yeah, what song? I'm a, like, we can't get on the same beat. And then I played him the song. He said, send it to me right now. I'm in my studio right now. I'm going to send it back. So in my head, I ain't going to lie. I was like, what is he going to do on this record that's not already done? Like, how is he even going to come in on this record? Uh-huh. So remember, I had two verses. I cut one of them off. Then I cut some bars off. You know, I had like a 16. I left like an 8 or 12 or whatever. Make some room. Give him yeah. some real estate. So now, he sends me the record back. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Oh my gosh, this is it! I got one. <laughs> this like, is it." Took it. It's like Tori is calm with it. it. Might be this time, yeah. Whatever. I come in, come in like French and leave. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh, unforgettable. Mm-hmm. That's why I was just comparing it to because I was like, I always said French nailed it when he came in and came out. He didn't really mess up the song. So I was like, nah, I don't want to mess this song up. I don't want to keep rapping. But they be like, nah, Kaz, you doing too much. Like, let this singing come back on. Mm-hmm. So I jumped in, jumped out, let let DeVito come on. And when he came on, I'm like, oh, it's just a different. And then he kind of turned up at the end, like, let it run through the back up. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this one is it. I can't wait to tell the label. Like, I didn't even send it to nobody in the label. I walked up there myself. And you played it for them in the in the conference yeah. room. Ah, yeah. smart man. Yeah. Well, and I'm, I know what the response was already. I know that. Yeah, sure. it, I could tell what the response was. Was Everybody was sending this record like, yo, 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 yo. Mm-hmm. This shit was like fucking bing, 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 bing. 
<laughs> like I said earlier. And I know y'all out there listening and y'all want to hear what the fuck we talking about, so I'm mm. not going to even wait anymore. Go ahead and introduce it for the 34 plus million people we got up here. You already know. 2 a.m. featuring Toya Lanes and DeVito. Casanova being real cool about this. This shit gonna turn your car the fuck up. It might pop that cheap ass speaker you need to fix too, man. Spray Rizzy, Hip Hop Nation. We out here, woke.